says that no man knows the day or the hour when the Lord shall appear. But just know that when he's coming back, I want to make sure that I'm ready. Are y'all ready? Let's go! He is coming back. He is coming back. He is coming back in a twinkling of an eye. Yeah, I like that. I like that right there. He is coming back. He is. He is coming back. Back, back. He is coming back in a twinkling of an eye. Now I want y'all to say it like y'all mean it. Come on, y'all. He is coming back. He is coming back. He is coming back in the twinkling of an eye. <laughs> Feels good. Come on. He is coming back. He is. He is coming back. Back, back. He is coming back in the twinkling of an eye. Are you ready? You gotta get your house in order. This is fair warning. Listen up, I'm the reporter No man knows the day And no man knows the hour When the Lord shall appear Just know he is coming me He is coming back He is coming back He is coming back in a twinkling of an eye You are the same 
your love never fails. You are there all the time. You hold my hand in my darkest hour. I know you will prevail. You are the same. Your love never to our virtual family. Hi, I'm Pastor Al, and thank you for joining us for our virtual worship services at the STJC. 
St. James AME Church in downtown San Antonio, Texas. Won't you please bow your heads for a word of prayer. Gracious and everlasting Father, we invoke your presence within this worship experience right now. We praise you, we glorify you, we bless you, and we thank you, Father, for you blessing us in so many ways. Now, Father, there appears to be turmoil throughout this world and throughout our country. There are those, Father, who are sick. There are those who are dying. And there are those who are grieving, Father, a loss of a loved one. Come by here, Father. Give us your love, your peace, your joy. Unite us, Father. Father, we ask of you right now to continue to bless us and to heal us. In Jesus' name we pray. And the entire church said, Amen. Our text is found in the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, the 17th verse, NIV. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, and plead the cause of the widow. God's word for the people of God, and the people of God said, thanks be to God. Ignorance allied with power is the most ferocious enemy justice can have. Ignorance allied with power is the most ferocious enemy justice can have. James Baldwin penned those words. I would like to thank our Bishop McKenzie for sparking today's sermon. In the state of California, we have the reputation for massive fires because of the hot climate and dry conditions in the mountains. It's like a playground for fire. Surprisingly, most of the fires are caused by human negligence or arsonists. This means that someone started the fires and the fires spread rapidly because there is readily accessible fuel. I contend there is an arsonist in our midst, setting fires in our hot, dry communities who intentionally set fires of hate, anger, racism, divisiveness with the rise of violence, and the fires continue to spread. When massive fires are set in our community, firefighters come from all over the world. There's a rainbow of support, black, brown, white, Jewish, Asian, Native Americans, women, the young, the aged, the gays, and the straight, praying, marching, protesting, even some in uniform saying, I can't breathe, and I say, thank you. Israel was divided and decayed. Fires of injustice were burning in Jerusalem, and now they were in danger of returning to exile. Allow me to borrow our subject this morning from one of my favorite gospel songs of all times. What's going on? What's going on? By Marvin Gaye. It's been more than 50 years and things haven't changed. Mothers are still crying. 
and now they are dying and being killed. Fathers are still dying in record numbers and our children are sighing and what's going on in this world today. Allow me three observations of our text because the backdrop of our text, we find the author Isaiah, whose name in the Hebrew means the Lord saves. Here in a vision, a Jerusalem prophet accepts God's offer. Here am I, send me. What happens when the oppressed become the oppressor? The text is about the judgment of God. Here in our text, Israel becomes a rebellious nation. They are called evildoers and also they are called to clean up their ways. Allow me three observations of our text. It's time to repent. It's time to restore. It's time to renew. These are the answers of our subject. What's going on? Observation number one. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. Found in verses 16 through 17. Notice Israel is the source of all their problems. <laughs> sometimes we've got to look at ourselves and we've got to sort of look in the mirror and sometimes even blame ourselves for some of the problems that we have. That's why the text opens up with the word stop doing wrong. It appears God sees them going through the motions, but they just don't change. They have become corrupt and God tells them to seek justice. They need to be put in time out because they're lying. They're cheating, and now they're even stealing. You've become so self-centered and caught up with yourselves. No justice, no peace. I can hear Ezra saying, it's time to humble yourselves. Mm. Pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, repent, and then you will hear from heaven. And I will forgive their land. Second Chronicles 7, 14. What's going on? Observation number two, it's time to restore. Verse 17, it's time to restore. Notice the Bible says, encourage the oppressed. Don't further oppress them. Remember you were there once yourselves oppressed. It's sad to see how quickly some of us forget. Once God saves us, once God restores us, we forget all about what we had to go through. Help me somebody. And then God reaches out and he looks at us and he says, I have a problem with you. You have forgotten where you come from. Why don't you go out and try to bless somebody else? Why don't you go out and try to help somebody else? But the Bible says, I will restore you to health. That's what Jeremiah says. I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, says the Lord. What's going on? Then thirdly, it's time to renew. Verse 17, tend to the fatherless and the widows. Don't continue to oppress them and kill them. You've got a responsibility to take care of them. You've got a responsibility to love them. We have a responsibility to nurture them. Mm. In the words of Patti LaBelle, I got a new attitude. 
Come on, somebody. I got a new attitude. The same things I used to do, I just don't want to do anymore. The same places that I used to go, I just don't want to go there anymore. I've got a new attitude. Paul is saying, it's time to make new in your attitude of your mind. Ephesians 4.23. What's going on to my brothers, to my sisters, to our children, to our nation. It's time to repent. It's time to restore. It's time to renew ourselves. What's going on? on what's going on we come to a part of our service right now and you ask that question what's going on in the world today and here's the pause am I part of the problem or am I part of the solution. The first thing we need to do is to invite Jesus Christ into your lives. I want to start a relationship with him. I want him to forgive me so I confess my sins to him. I right now repent of my sins. We call that conversion. Then you say, Reverend, I like what I hear. I like what I see. My family is new and we're trying to find a place to worship. Is there a way that we can reach out to St. James AME Church? Yes, you can. And we would love to have you. Details of following. We call that membership. Then you say, Reverend, I started out in church. I grew up in church. I know my Bible. I've been to Sunday school, Father. And we just ask right now, what can we do? What can I do to get my life straight? I want to get on a new path or the path that I once walked alone. Well, we call that rededication. Then last but not least, you say, Reverend, I live out of the city, I live out of the state, I even live out of the country, but I am so impressed in how God is using the STJC. And I want to ask the question, how can I become a virtual member? Sometimes I work on Sundays, I can't get to church, but I can continue to be a part of this congregation through social media. Well, we would love to have you. Details are following after the close of this service. Now, we thank you for your love and we thank you for your generosity. You are part of our family. And if you want to further sow into the ministries of the STJC through Giveify by using your cell phone, through Zelle, or through a self-addressed envelope. Details are also following. Won't you just give as we feed the hungry through our food pantry, as we clothe the naked, and as we find a place for the homeless to stay. Well, that's it for today. God bless you, and thank you for a moment of your time. See you next week, God willing. Same station, same time. In Jesus' name we pray. What's going on?
We're gonna praise you, Lord. We're gonna praise you, Lord. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Always. We magnify your name. We magnify. ready to lift up holy hands always, always. we're gonna praise you lord oh it's time to praise him now we're gonna praise you lord mm, just close your eyes and feast we're on we're gonna praise you lord lord we thank you right now always for all your many blessings we're gonna praise you lord there's someone out there that's ready to praise him. We're gonna praise you, Lord. There's somebody out there ready to just We're surrender to him. Praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. We magnify your name. Oh, come on and magnify his holy name. We magnify your We're gonna have church up in here. Name. We magnify your name. Always. Always. We magnify. Oh, come your on. Name. Lift up that brother. We magnify. Lift up your that sister. Holy name. Oh, we can do it now. We magnify your name. We're gonna magnify him. Always. Always. We lift up holy hands. I'm lifted up my hands to surrender to we you. Lift up holy hands to you. We lift up holy hands. I'm lifting them. Are you ready to lift them? Always. Always. We lift up holy hands. I was lost. We lift up holy hands. But now I'm found. And that's why we lift up holy I can lift up holy hands. <laughs> always. always. Is there somebody can say always? Always. Somebody out there that can say always. <laughs> always. Not just sometimes, but always. Always. Don't make me shout up in here. <laughs> always. When I was lost, he found me. Always. When I was hungry, he fed me. Always. When I was naked, he clothed me. Always. Somebody ought to lift up their voice right now and shout, always. Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for bringing us a mighty long way. Cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. Oh, we can make it always.